You know those instances where you meet someone by chance and it isn't until something remarkable happens that you take notice? Well, that's kind of how it was when I met Sarah. So picture this, a young girl driving 15 hours to Arkansas for a photography internship, not knowing what to expect, but just trusting the plans God had. That was me. Before I officially met Sarah, we were placed in the same cabin that would help us prepare for camp. I didn't know it then that God was using that to weave our lives together and help me grow closer to Him and open my eyes to the religious freedom challenges around the world. My name is Sarah Yoon and I'm 19 years old. I lived in North Korea for 12 years of my life. While living in North Korea, the U.S. State Department issued a travel ban in 2017, which forced my family to go to China. In China, I got really depressed and really sad, and even suicidal. But when we moved to America, I decided to get help. I decided to take antidepressants. This summer, I worked at Camp Regal, and that's when I met Maida. It's strange. You know those people who radiate life and love? That's the R.S. Sarah had. It's actually what gravitated me towards her. Knowing what I know now, I would have never guessed her life consisted of so much heartache. The love and care she shows others is just so amazing and overwhelming to witness. When we were living as foreigners in North Korea, I remember as a child, I had family devotions every day. We even went to an official church in the capital city on Sundays. It wasn't easy. We could not talk about our own faith openly, so we didn't. Instead, we showed God's love to those around us in practical ways through acts of kindness. But during this pandemic, I began to feel depressed again. I felt sad. I felt frustrated that life had come to a full stop. I needed to connect with people again. It wasn't until I went to camp that I felt God's grace back in my life. I was able to draw closer and do a complete 180 in my journey with God and His people. I began living my faith for the first time in months. I was able to love those who weren't being loved and make an impact again. Sarah played her guitar and all I could see was a faithful servant. She continued to praise Him through her uncertainty. She continued to love on all the quarantine girls and I prayed that God would show her just how valuable she was. Through her perseverance and strong faith, she had unknowingly encouraged me to live my faith during this pandemic. Although living in North Korea had many restrictions, there wasn't one instance where I trusted God. It was more of a gradual process of leaning on Him. Through leaning on Him and overcoming these challenges, I have seen glimpses of the overwhelming love that Christ has for me. And through this, I have received a calling to love on others in all that I am and to encourage them. I know that taking this step in faith can be a scary thing, but the same God that paints the skies new each day is always making a way for us. Regardless if we live through a pandemic or in a religiously restricted country like North Korea, our faith opens doors and creates endless opportunities to make an impact on the world around us. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom.